people dumping guns when they find your remains. Your remains are straight fucked up, dumb cunt. Trying to go out all alone and meet a creature with a beaver to remove your people in the bone. I'm looking for some brains, I'm looking for some strains. Give a best every cock in the hole of a swing. Hey guys, Wayne here for Let's Play Kit Gaming Channel, and today I am showcasing to you a guide that will teach you the different ways as to how to find construction supplies and use them to construct new buildings that will benefit your survivor camp in state of decay. To begin, you first need to be past the prologue and at the first main survivor camp, which is the church. When you go out on your first surveying mission, you will be told of a new group of survivors that you can recruit to your cause. After rescuing these survivors and taking them back to your base, you will then be told that you need to build extra sleeping quarters in order to cater for the new guests. However, this is where things can get a little bit difficult as the game doesn't tell you where to find construction supplies or how to build. Luckily, my friends, this guide will teach you everything that you need to know. On your map, you will occasionally see construction sites. Upon venturing to these areas, you will see that construction sites were, as the name suggests, buildings that were in the process of being built pre-Z Apocalypse. These areas are rich in stockpiles of construction resources that you can then use to build new areas inside of your camp to benefit you and the rest of the group. You will see in this video one of the first construction sites is located very near to the church. When you get here, there are two different ways in which you can approach foraging for supplies. Once you find a stockpile of resources, you can choose to equip the backpack and run the goods back yourself, or alternatively, if you have other things to do, you can radio to camp and send another survivor to collect the goods for you while you carry on with something else. This is arguably, in my opinion, one of the game's strongest features, an emphasis on teamwork and group survival. In this video, you will see that I both collect a rucksack of goods myself and take them back, while at the same time, I send Maya, another survivor, to collect the rest of the goods, as obviously, I can only carry one rucksack at a time. However, I do choose to go back and check on Maya once I have dropped off my supplies back at camp, and it's quite lucky I did, as a zombie horde was about to cross her path, which could have easily resulted in her death. I join in on her resource mission and clear the area while she prepares the rucksack of supplies and we then head out into the car. We then dispatch of another zombie horde in the area which will then limit the threat to the camp come nightfall and we then take the other rucksack home too. Now for the actual building process. To build you simply need to press the up button on the d-pad and hit the right bumper until you get to the camp layout map. The blank spaces you see in this video are the ones that you can build on. Again, as you will see in this video, my building resources have grown dramatically thanks to my resource missions by myself and other survivors at the camp such as Maya. So we choose to build a new sleeping quarters which takes 10 minutes to build. These new quarters will cater for the new survivors we found at the beginning of the game and leave us with another patch of land to build on. It is obviously up to you guys when you play your game exactly what you choose to build there. That's all there is to it folks and I very much hope you found this basic construction guide helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more State of Decay guides and content. And until next time my friends, Wayne here for the Let's Play Cat Gaming channel, saying goodbye.